Hello Leo, welcome to your love story reading for January. Hope you're doing amazing. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to get these readings super early, uh, the link for Patreon is in the description box below, as well as the link to the website in case you need a personal reading. I'd be more than happy to do that for you as well. Um, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. So we're going to get into your reading, Leo. Um, let's talk about your cards. You have inner peace worthiness, the divine masculine, soulmate, retreat, worth wait, waiting for, and calling in your soulmate. Leo, um, I feel like you're with or know the person that you are supposed to be with. Um, your love life is coming together. I feel like you you have a sense of peace of what it is that you're feeling right now. Um, but there's a sense of you needing a break from it. It's like you need to gain some perspective. Um... It's like things are fine, but you don't see it. You need a break. You need some time. You need um, a sense of perspective. You may be dealing with someone that always needs you to go, 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 do, 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 or be on, you know, at all times. And you just need a pause. But then I feel like you come out of the pause and then communicate with that person again or show them how much you care. It's almost like you need to show this person by taking a break your worth at the same time. Almost feeling like someone may be taking you for granted. Trying to see if someone actually cares for you. If this is really divinely orchestrated like you think it is. So we have the devil and the sun. That's what we're coming into. And then we have the ten of cups. The hermit. I'm just going to put the cards down because the lighting is weird. And the queen of pentacles. That's you. Your person. We have ten of pentacles. The world. And the judgment. Okay. Okay. Relationship, we have the Emperor, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. And for the conclusion, we have the Hangman, the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, and the Moon. know if there's some downtime but it's like you have time to think about the balance in your relationship um and there needs to be some sort of change and I feel like you feel as though you have to be the hand that creates this change so you're either going to take away something or give more to create a change here What are you up to, Leo? You 
You have the devil and the sun, which is very interesting energy. Because it's almost like things are good. But you think that they can be better somehow. There's something that you're hanging on, something that you're, you keep thinking about or keep nagging at you. But the sun card says that things are good. You just want change. You feel stuck in your head about this relationship. It's unconventional how it's playing out. It's not fitting your way or your role or what you feel it should be fitting. It's almost like you're going through a rough spot. You're going through some sort of change within yourself and it's causing you to reflect on your relationships and your life and you're you're confused about where ever, anything is going. Interesting. Yeah, this tells me that there's actually happiness in this relationship. You're just doing a lot of internal thinking about your life, about your relationship. This is like residual energy of you gaining wisdom. But what's interesting is I feel like you're trying to gain control of it. You're not trying to end anything. You're just trying to cultivate the little area that ha is having the problem or making you feel like there's something you need to focus on. There's a sense of sadness here about a rough spot or a hard time. Um, you lost something. Um, maybe the relationship went through a rough patch and there's an imbalance in what would be the perfect sense of happiness. But there is happiness here. Maybe someone said no to you when you thought they would say yes. It doesn't feel big, though. In the scheme of things, it doesn't feel big. But you're having a hard time getting over a rejection or something that hurt your feelings. And you're trying to make it right. So now I feel like you're confused about your future. You're confused about your money. You're confused about how to proceed. You still have emotions for this person, though. Very deep. You love this person. They're yours, you know. Um, but you're trying to figure out how to change a situation. You don't want to wait. You're trying to put in action to create change. Yeah, there's something that isn't cultivating right or something that's off. And that's what you're trying to fix. You don't want to overindulge in it and just ignore it and have it become bigger and have to deal with it later. So you're trying to deal with whatever it is now. Your person, they're very settled in life. And, in you know, you're more emotionally driven. They're more... abundance driven and maybe they are, are losing their job maybe they're focusing a lot on work and leaving you out of the cold it's like they're not making a decision that they should be making you feel like they should be making a decision about something and they're not yeah it's almost like they're ignoring you and whatever they're focusing on they're focused on that It's like you see it about to turn bad and you're trying to rectify it now, Leo. Yeah, this is something that you want to hold on to. They want to hold on to it as well. But they also want to work on themselves. They also want to build themselves up. Um, but they're ignoring you. They're ignoring the relationship. They're not paying attention to something because they're trying to close something out in their own life. 
or deal with something in their own life. So their, their emotions, they're not showing their emotions or being loving because they're focused on something else. So there's a lack of passion here because their focus is on something else. In the relationship, I see you trying to take control and bring the passion or the fire back in. But I feel like with this page of pentacles, you're trying to do stuff to get them to see you. This is like bringing flowers in. This is like cutting the grass. This is like telling them how handsome they look. To make something happen. Yeah, you're definitely trying to control an imbalance before it gets bad. It's like trying to make the changes before it gets bad. By doing something loving, doing something that's going to trigger an emotional response. But the focus is not on passion, it's on something else. And you're feeling the, it's like you feel like they're not defending the relationship anymore. The thing is, for some reason, you need all this attention right now. And they just are busy. <laughs> yeah, the focus is on work, or starting a new career, or focusing on foundations for them. You're communicating about what it is that you need, but you're not getting it. I feel like they're listening. They're trying to understand. They still care about you. The connection's still there. But this is like one of those choices where they have to focus on what's important to them and that this is what's important to them right now. Not that the relationship isn't important. They're just focused on something else. So we have the hangman and the six of cups. So I feel like there may be a brief pickup here, but really the emphasis is on you changing your changing your uh, mindset or looking at a situation differently. It's going to come back around. It's just that this is a downtime. Yeah, it's like you need to step away from your emotions for a minute until this ends. But you just feel like this person isn't paying attention to you at all which is not true. Yeah, don't take any foolish risks to get out of this energy because you still have the Ten of Pentacles. Things are still working in your favor. They're not leaving you. Nothing bad is happening. You're just disconnected for a moment. Wisdom, yeah. You're gaining wisdom and love. Um, open up your heart. Allow things to unfold. Um, it's still there. It's just like you just need to see it. Perfection. Your person is focused on foundations, money, career, themselves for right now. They're trying to get things in order so they can feel okay within themselves. Impasse. You want this passion and drive and push to from this person, you're not going to get it right now, okay? Overall energy, yeah, just let it go. With release, let it go. Things are transforming. You'll be fine, okay? Growing up, I've seen this card three times so far. Transitioning out of old energy. Um, what was was you know sometimes things change and we have to learn how to grow with it we have to learn how to grow out of things and that's what's happening here yeah this is just another experience in love it's like a spiritual growth moment to start a new beginning 
I feel like it's going to be good for you. You just need to get over this hump. Okay? I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.